Hi everyone and welcome back to our video on the rabbit proof fence. And in this we've already looked at a bit of cultural background and also the author. However, now we're going to be looking further at the text in more detail. Let's start by examining this film review of the rabbit proof fence. Now, as I've discussed in the first part of this video, it's really important to get second opinions on your text. So you're not just going to be watching the movie, but really ensuring that you use the opinions of critics, film reviewers, etc. to get a second opinion and to really get a more sophisticated analysis of the text that you're looking at. So I picked out three quotes from this film review, which are going to give you an indication of a second opinion on this text. So let's read this quote. Fortunately, the film does not become dogged down in despair or over sentimentality and is instead fueled by a curious optimism that allows the girls to elude the authorities. So here we see that this text is really going to have a focus on belonging to family and place. So this sense of optimism, which the reviewer talks about, is really the key to belonging in this text because the three girls are finding a connection with each other and they're so positive about their connection to their hometown that they really want to get back there in a positive way. They're not despairing about how hard their journey is, but instead they're thinking about how great it's going to be once they find that belonging again in their hometown. So you see the way that we're taking quotes from the film review and then linking that to ideas about belonging. The second quote, Rabbit Proof Fence is a political movie probably more so than it is a personal movie. Unfortunately, that means that every representation in the film is somehow questionable. So what this quote really indicates is that this movie has a political focus. So when Noyce wrote it, he was really thinking about making some hardcore political statements. So what this means is that it's really important to understand the background when you're viewing it. What this quote is saying is that his view can be a little bit subjective, so it's important to understand the facts when you're approaching this film, and that's something which we've already addressed, but that you need to keep in mind as you're thinking about the rest of this presentation. The third quote, playing with powerful historical themes, Noyce ultimately softens the blow with a visual composition that screams to be noticed. So here the reviewer is really giving an indication of the importance of understanding the film techniques to interpret the themes of the film. So that's what we're going to be looking at now, the way in which you can un use film techniques to understand belonging themes. So understanding belonging really comes from your understanding of the composition of the whole text and then using that to your advantage in your analysis. So let's take a look at some key belonging themes in this text. So there's definitely a sense of Aboriginal belonging to place and ancestral lands. As well as this, we have the idea of belonging to family or tribe. We also have the sense of exile and isolation when removed from the place where you traditionally belong. Also, the concept of assimilation versus belonging is explored in this text. There's also the idea of the new sense of belonging, which is built in opposition to the traditional sense. Furthermore, the lack of belonging to society and the search for belonging. These are the themes which we're going to be looking at in detail now and looking at some of the ways in which specific quotes from the movie address each of these issues in detail. We're also going to be examining the barriers to belonging as a further example of the way in which belonging perhaps isn't just expressed as a positive thing, but also as a very negative thing, which the composer is looking at as something which can be not only beneficial, but harmful. So we're going to be flipping belonging on its head and looking at it in two different ways here. So when we're analysing these belonging themes, we're going to be looking at these three sub-questions. Firstly, what does the theme mean? So taking a look at what each of these themes actually means for you as the viewer. Secondly, what are some quotes that support the theme? So we're going to be taking a look at specific examples from the movie. And thirdly, how can I focus on belonging? So bringing all of these ideas back to belonging to ensure that your analysis is actually based on what the question's asking you.